Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. Uh, look like YouTube have a problem and too many people do not know that we are even live on air. They are not receiving notification. I'm not sure if this is done only for me, but uh, this is how it is since uh, yesterday. Uh, however, I have another issue that my internet is not is, uh, the upload speed, not in the download speed. The upload speed is not good. So uh, we hope we will not lose connection. Uh, otherwise, we have to redo the video again. Uh, today, our topic is about an article published by an, an American magazine. It's called Newsweek. Now, the one who published the article is a very well-known person. This guy, he do nothing except promoting Islam. His name is a Greek, Constantine. And he claimed that he's not a Muslim, but obviously he is officially paid by Muslims if he isn't a Muslim. Because this guy, he write nothing except promoting Muhammad and Islam. Nothing. You can go and watch his uh, uh, Twitter, his uh, Facebook. He speak about nothing except Muhammad is amazing, Islam is amazing, the miracle of the Quran, etc. So this guy, he said, can the power of a prayer alone stop the, uh, you know, Corona? And then he start, okay, so what is, what, uh, what is the solution? The solution, as you see here, Prophet Muhammad, uh, as he call him, Doctor, you know, expert like, uh, etc. Doctor Anthony, etc. He said, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Do you know also suggested good hygiene and guaranteeing uh, during pandemic? Who? Prophet Muhammad, 1300 years ago. Hmm. Are you sure? So Prophet Muhammad, he taught us hygiene. Now, you know, I don't want to waste my time and your time. And I will try to make this video uh, shorter because we will go live on air again. Uh, uh, in the quality of life actually I suppose to go in the quality of life first and then I come here but we miss it so we will go late later in the quality of life and uh, those who like to join us uh, feel free uh, to join us the quality of life account as you see in the screen uh, we have a topic you can check it out and we will go after we finish here now this guy, he says, Muhammad, if you, if you hear of an outbreak of a plague in a land, do not enter it. But if the plague outbreak out in a place while you are in, don't leave that place. Now, you see here, actually, uh, uh, this, is a, uh, this is a stupid thing to say, uh, because if I am not ill and there is an outbreak, of a disease why I will stay so to, until I get sick this is number one if you are saying to me that Muhammad saying that so you will not carry a disease with you well that is a stupid thing to say anyway because he is saying if you hear of outbreak in a, a play on a land do not enter it do not enter that land okay so Muhammad here he claimed that he knew that this is a disease which can uh, 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 spread easy between a human being and the purpose of not leaving it is not to carry the disease with you but if you don't leave and you are not sick yet then you will get sick and you will die and then here we will see something very funny about Muhammad let us say that this statement is what they are practicing today but isn't it every human being he says I have cold don't hug me I have cold don't get close to, get close to me cold just cold nothing, nothing dangerous isn't it this is something everybody knows? Don't come and visit me. I am sick. You will get sick too. I mean, this is very silly. I mean, this is this is not a science. This is something a human being in you for centuries and centuries and thousands of years. If you associate yourself with somebody is sick, you will get sick. Especially if it's con a contagious uh, uh, disease. Now, let us show you the intelligence of a Prophet Muhammad. And you, you are being the judge. He called for us this and supposedly this is the solution which Muhammad suggest. Okay, and so Muhammad is solving the problem. Muhammad is the big problem. He is coronavirus himself. Let us read Muhammad. If we follow his advice, what will happen to us? First of all, Muhammad is a false prophet who he claimed that viruses do not enter cities because there's angels are protecting cities, which is obviously stupid and false because not long after the city of Medina, was infected by the disease which is called the plague and tens of thousands of people die 
If you read with me here, Muhammad is saying clearly that angels are protecting the city and plague and the Dajjal, the Dajjal is supposedly a person who claimed to be the Messiah, but he's a liar, like Muhammad. Supposedly Muhammad is not a Dajjal. But look what happened. Right after Muhammad, he said this statement, he, and then he died. Then he, a few years after his death, a big disease outbreak happened in the city of Medina. And people, they were dying left and right. Let us see the hadith and see how Muhammad, he exposed himself first, first as a false prophet. And this is the most important thing. Muhammad is a false prophet. Once, read carefully, and they cannot say this is not Sahih. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Hadith number 2643. 2643. Once I went to Al Medina, where there was an outbreak, disease, and the people were dying rapidly. I was sitting with Omar. Who is Omar? Omar is the caliphate. So this is during, this is not a hundred years or two thousand years after Muhammad. This is right away. Uh, Omar, Omar is, is, a, is a one of the companion of Muhammad. So this has happened few years after Muhammad's death. And as you see, the disease is spread in Medina and people, they were dying and Muhammad's prophecy come to be exposed that he is a false prophet. Now let us go to Muhammad teaching and hygiene. This is what they say in their article. Uh, let us say, I am going to teach you now hygiene. When you eat, do not wipe your hands till you lick it or had it licked by someone else. I mean, this is alone kind of stop coronavirus. If you are a person in the restaurant or you are going in the street and you have some food in your fingers, please give your finger to somebody else to lick it. And supposedly, this is the hygiene of Muhammad. Let us continue. Muhammad explain what is the favor which come from those disease according to the science of Muhammad favor is something coming from Jahannam which is a word stolen from the uh, from the Bible which Muhammad obviously here proving that he's a thief so it is the favor it is a, a, a heat coming from Jahannam from hell I mean, obviously, this is a very, Dr. Muhammad, he knew what he's talking about. It's very scientific and it's true. Uh, actually, it's true. I mean, obviously, fever is coming from uh, the heat of uh, hell. I mean, isn't it obvious? What's wrong with you? Right? So, it is, it is very true. Muhammad, he don't, Muhammad, this, oh, sorry, I, I should not say Muhammad without saying Dr. Muhammad. I apologize. Uh, not only Dr. Muhammad, uh, scientist Muhammad. Okay, so now we found where the fever is coming from. All right, let us continue with the hygiene of Muhammad or the, 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 the medicine of Muhammad. Here we go. Muhammad, he found a medicine for Corona. This is the medicine Muhammad, he gave to anyone, to anything, any problem. Look at this. Use this black seed for indeed and contain a cure for every disease except a sham. What is sham? It is death. I mean, look how stupid he is. Every disease except death is, is, is death is disease. So Muhammad claimed that this seed, and let me show you the, the, the English version of this uh, seed. Here we go. Here they are giving it to you. Uh, Abu Huraira narrated that Allah Messenger said, In the black seed there is a healing for every disease except the death. And the black seed is showings i don't know if this is the correct uh, translation you can check it out so now we do not need really to go and find a vaccine or anything for uh, corona prophet muhammad he found uh, one one seed have the solution for any disease anything anything you see any disease every disease muhammad didn't say this is good for flu he didn't say this is good for uh, uh, fever uh, uh, eye maybe uh, your ear remedy, your eye infect. No, no, no. Muhammad is saying clearly this is for every disease. No matter what, the de don't don't give me the name. I don't care. The name of the disease is not important. This is fit for every disease. So why why we don't call Trump immediately, who is desperately trying to find a solution for this disease in America, in Italy, in Iran, in Saudi Arabia, in Egypt, people dying left and right, and here we go the medicine in front of us. 
why nobody is calling the doctors the scientists tell them that we have the, the we have this we have the, the medicine any disease you have heart disease this is will help you you have a blood illness yeah this will, will help you. do you have liver problem this is will help you and who is saying that dr muhammad himself so there's no way i remember muhammad he don't say things from his own according to muslims allah taught him muhammad is illiterate he did not know what he's talking about supposedly right so where he got this knowledge from amazing knowledge brother he got it from allah and as you see this is a very strong hadith muslims cannot say oh this is a, a rejected hadith hmm? This is can solve any disease you want. So please don't worry about Corona, Prophet Muhammad, Doctor Muhammad, Scientist Muhammad. He found a solution for it, and uh, you know, and the funny, he was saying this, and he himself is sick. Ah. <sighs> I mean, the guy Muhammad is always sick, and he is telling us what is the solution for sickness. Let us continue with the intelligence of the Prophet. Prophet Muhammad he said that there is nothing called contagious disease. The prophet SAWS FM short wave long wave he said there's no infection no evil man by the way doesn't say no infection but no infection you liar go down a little bit you see this, the same hadith different from no infection doesn't say that look 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 at the lies no division no trans transitive disease do you see how the translation changed just depend who is the translator so the first two translating translation they were trying to hide the the, the the lies of Muhammad they are not saying it doesn't say uh, what they are saying he is saying that there is no disease to transmit from a person to a person this is a lie it's not exist there is no transitive disease no invasion but good omen please me pleases me good omen so this guy he don't believe that there is a disease can be contagious go from a person to person he believe this is a lie yet he believe in good omen and bad omen and obviously this is very clear clear science i mean we have to agree right and as you see all those hadith are sahih hadith they cannot say uh, this is not true so but hold on how Muhammad he said don't go to a, a place have a disease and then get don't get out from it because Muhammad is a is a is a scam this guy he says something and then he, he obviously is a fool because either you believe that the plague can spread or you don't believe in it and this is statement he is saying you cannot believe in this you cannot believe that you can get sick from because of somebody else why is that? Because Muhammad, he claimed that all those disease, Allah, he sent it to, to you no matter what. Allah, he punished people. If you go in the Quran, you will find the Quran saying that Allah is the, who, is the one who made people sick. Allah don't heal anyone. And this is not metaphorically. all those verses a muslim can say this is metaphorically right well uh, let us see if it's metaphorically because uh, it says that allah he punished people by illness he punished them and the funny muhammad he said that if you are a person Let me open a hadith.
I don't know if I can find the hadith in here where it says that a uh, ta'un uh, is the needles of the genie, which means the plague is from the needle of the genie. The genie, they are who do, they are the one who stink you with it. You see this uh, this website cannot find uh, uh, the hadith for it, but let me find it for you uh, in Arabic, and we can use Google translation. And here you see the science of a Prophet Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad, Scientist Muhammad. <clears throat> All right. All right, we found the, the hadith. Here we go. This is a Muslim website. Islam questions and answer. <clears throat> The question number is 310767. I'm going to use Google Translation as usual because we do not have the English one. So let us do this. In the front of your eyes, I will do Google Translation. How Muhammad explained the plague, how the plague happened. Translate. All right. <clears throat> The question is, does the Prophet of Allah says that the plague is from the stabbing of the genie? <laughs> the plague happened because genie is stabbing you with needles. Answer, yes. And this is the reference for the hadith. They asked Muhammad, what is a ta'un, which means what is the plague? He said, it is the stabbing of the genie by their needles. And if you die from it, you are a murderer. So why you are a murderer? Because the genie killed you. So now we understand where the plague is coming from. Because the genie is your enemy. Huh? They are the one who is stabbing you. You see, it says here, stab with a spear. So the genie, he have a spear in his hand, and you are walking down a street, and you have no idea, and then the genie, he put the needle in your ass, and then you got the plague. This is the, this is the explanation of Dr. Muhammad, and this is very, very scientific. I mean, who can refuse this? Can you? And as you see here, those are the reference of Muslims. This is not mine. Narrated by Ahmad, hadith number 19528. And this is your Muslim website, not my website. And here there is more, more reference and more hadith, more numbers, etc. So now as long we found how plague happened, it is genie attacking us by, the, by their stab. This is why when you die from plague, you are a murderer. Makes sense. Let us see. How we can stay with the with the with the with the I mean amazing teaching of Prophet Muhammad. After Muhammad, he taught us that there's no such a, a thing. It's called a trans uh, 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 like a, a transit a transitive disease or a, a, a disease can spread con like contagious by by people. He he refused to accept that. Then he come with something more nice. Once Muhammad was sick, and here you can tell how healthy Muhammad is, who is advising everybody how to get healthy, but he is the last one to be healthy. If you read with me this hadith, this hadith is not a comedy, it is serious. Abu Bakr kissed the forehead of the Prophet when he was dead. Aisha. I mean, look at this hadith. Aisha said, we put medicine on one side of his mouth. Okay, hold on. The guy is dead and you are putting medicine in his mouth? The guy is not dead. But obviously, Muhammad is a dead man. He is always dead. There's one of two solutions here. Either he played dead 
or he is always sick, so they think he's dead. Aisha added, we put medicine in one side of his mouth, but he started waving us not to insert the medicine in his mouth. Dr. Muhammad, he don't want medicine. He don't want his own medicine, but this is the medicine you're asking them to, to give to everybody, but he do not want his own medicine. We said he disliked the medicine as patient usually does. But when he come to his sense, so Muhammad was losing his sense. He's a crazy man. You see how sick he is? He said, didn't I forbid you from putting medicine by force in the side of my mouth? We said, we thought it was just because a patient usually dislikes medicine. He said, none of those who are in the house, but will be forced to take medicine in the side of their mouth. Like what the heck? So Muhammad was sick, they are trying to help him, he is dying, and they put medicine in his mouth, and now he want to force them, all everybody in the house, that we are going to insert medicine in your mouth. It doesn't matter if this medicine will kill you, it's not good for you, it doesn't matter. Right now, everybody in the house, put medicine in their in their mouths force them to take medicine this is dr muhammad advice all right and this is sahih al-bukhari as you see so dr muhammad he is doing the right thing we continue muhammad is the best man who teach us about uh, hygiene muhammad said uh, if one of you a piece of his food fail in the ground don't leave it for the devil so what we do wipe it and eat it chapter it is recommended to lick one finger and wipe the bowl huh? what lick what Okay, and eat a piece of food is a drop after removing any dirt from it. So if you are walking down the street right now in Germany and you are biking your sandwich, a piece of your sandwich fell down. What do you do? What do you do, brother? You take, you grab this piece of sandwich from the ground, you wipe it and then you eat it and then lick your fingers. And this is supposedly the hygiene of a Prophet Muhammad who is going to stop Corona. And listen, you have to eat it with three fingers, not with four or five. Three fingers. Trinity. Hmm? When any of you drop a mouthful he should remove anything filthy from it and then he eat it and he should not leave it for shaitan shaitan will eat it brother shaitan this is the war you know shaitan is going to eat it i mean are you going to feed shaitan no way uh. <clears throat> prophet muhammad is the best one who can help you with hygiene and can make you fight corona as an example muhammad believed that dirty water is not exist so don't think you will get a disease from a water have uh, somebody is sick with corona no or maybe a dog he have corona no dead dog he have corona no garbage have corona no because simply water is always clean and muhammad he used to take a shower always from this filthy water read carefully i passed by the prophet p e p b u h this is like a degree in science you know p b u h you know muhammad is always have to have uh, to add things behind his name they don't even they worship him they don't dare even to say his name without saying those things when he was performing wudu from the will of buddha 
This, this is why they call it Bada because it's garbage. I said, are you performing wudu from the, from it when garbage is thrown in it? <laughs> and here you see the Muslim they will say to you, a brother, like there is a there is five Muslims they made a video to refute me. This video is the refutation for the lies of a Christian prince. Uh, I want to thank brother uh, Zawadi and brother Tawadi and brother Fotadi and brother Tadadi and Tadadi. All of those supposed to refute me about what they said in the video that according to scientific method that if the water coming from the ground is going to be clean, you idiot, stupid, you donkey. First of all, this is not a well of water coming from the ground. This is a dry well. It have water in it because simply this is garbage water. This is this like a sewage. The, the 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 houses they don't have sewage, so all the water go to this little tiny uh, hole in the ground, and this is dirty water. Obviously, this is why people are throwing garbage in it. Remember, we are in the desert, and people they will not throw garbage in a priceless water unless it's the water already is gone, is is bad, is used. So as you see, the man he was surprising. Saying to him, are you showering with water which garbage is thrown in it? Muhammad, he come with Corona science. And he said, brother, water is not made impure by anything. So by the science of Muhammad, if you are a person who have a Corona, and you go and you take a bath in a bathtub, please, don't let the bathtub water go because 20 people they come after you and they can use the same water even if it does not only have your corona garbage not only garbage even the hadith says dead dogs and women of blood from period and the water stink do you see it the people ask prophet muhammad can we perform a pollution of the will of Allah, which is well into which ministerial clothed dead dogs and stinking things are thrown in it? He replied, water is pure, not defiled by anything. Now for sure, Prophet Muhammad, if he exists right now, or actually if, if we follow his footstep, for sure we will be saved from Corona. There is no way Corona can affect us. So when this idiot he lie about Muhammad that he advised us to stop Corona. If we follow the steps of Muhammad, we will be all dead as he died. And actually, there is tons of hadith uh, we, can, we can report from uh, where if you, if you read it, you, you will die laughing. Let me see if I can find this one. <coughs> Let's see how they translate this one. The husband of a lady died and her eyes become sore and the people mentioned her story to Prophet. He asked him whether if it's principle for her to use kohel as her eyes were exposed to danger. He said previously, when one eye is bra uh, braved by a husband, she would stay in her dirty clothes in bed and an unhealthy house uh, for one year. <laughs> and when a dog passed by, she would throw a globe of, of dunk. Uh, no, she should deserve to prescribe a period of Idda for four months and ten days. What, what does this have to do? I mean, did, did you see what the question was and what the answer is? Let us see something else. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. I'm just trying to remember.
No, oh, let us see this one. No, oh, we cannot find it. Let's try something else. <coughs> During the Prophet fatal illness, he used to recite uh, uh, a Quran and then he blow his breath over his body. <laughs> and the funny it says is that, uh, and, and this is during his death, I mean, obviously the medicine of the Prophet was working. You read Quran and then you breathe over your body. I'm blowing now over my chest. This is how you can fight any disease, any illness. As you see, read with me carefully. <clears throat> During the Prophet's fatal illness, he used to recite the surah, uh, an nas which is very funny. It's about uh, inve and you know, uh, blah blah blah, stupid stuff. And then he blew his breath over his body when his illness was aggravated. I used to recite those two surahs and blow breathe over him and make him rub his body with his own hands for for its blessing. <laughs> And then they ask Al Zuhri, uh, he used to blow his on his hand and his back. How how he do it? How he do that? He said he used to blow on his hands and then he passed them over his face. And now we knew how we can fight Corona. I mean, who don't agree with us? You must be crazy if you don't believe in that. It's obvious. Uh, <clears throat> let's see a different one. I mean, there is endless uh, number. Uh, I don't know if it, uh, we can go over how many. I mean, too many. Let us see. By the way, to find those references we are speaking of, you can freeze the video, type a few words in the search engine, sasuna.com. Just be sure you are searching for the same exact thing. Like as an example, uh, during the Prophet fatal illness, he used to recite this. So you type it in Google, you will find the hadith. Very easy. All right. In case you are watching later. Look at this hadith. I don't know what to say about this one. <clears throat> Some of the companions of the Prophet came across a tribe amongst the tribe of the Arab. <coughs> And that tribe do not ent entertain them. While they were in that state, the chief of the tribe was bitten by a snake. He was bitten by what? By a snake. Or stung by a scorpion. They are not sure. They said to the, um, the companion of the prophet, Have you got any medicine with you or anybody who can treat with ruqya? In case you do not know what Ruqya is, Ruqya is one of the fictions that you start saying like blah blah blah, shish kebab, hummus halal, or blah blah blah, blah. and supposedly that will make it work. Because remember, this guy he is not a Muslim to read Quran. The guy is not a Muslim, right? The Prophet companion said, "You refuse to entertain us, so we will not treat you hmm? unless you pay for us." Look how good the companion of the Prophet are. So they agreed to pay. They agreed to pay. A fork of sheep. One of them, uh, the prophet companion, start reciting Surah Al-Fatiha and gathering his saliva and is spitting at it. <laughs> 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 
and the patient get a cure. <laughs> Guys, have you ever heard of a story like this? When the disciple, they heal, somebody is sick, you have to pay us, okay? If you don't pay us, we will not help you. And then how we heal you, we read Al-Fatiha, and then we spit and we put it in your, and supposedly the guy got healed. The patient got cured and his people presented the sheep, the, sheep, uh, the sheep to them. But they said, we will not take it unless you, we ask the prophet whether it's lawful. Now look how decent they are, you know. How do you know? And then uh, when we ask him, he smiled. Muhammad is smart. He, he said to them, how do you know that Surah Al-Fatiha is a ruqya, which means you can read it uh, to, to heal somebody. Take it, folk, of a sheep and sign a share for me. <laughs> what a fraud. <laughs> The funny is that Muhammad himself, he died by poison. So if reading Al-Fatiha will help you from poison, well, why Muhammad did not read Al-Fatiha? As you see, Muhammad himself in his death, he was reading Quran and blowing from his breathing in himself. If we go in the Hadith, we will find Muhammad saying it clearly that he died because of a poison he ate, which cut his artery. So, if such a thing can heal anyone, Muhammad, he will heal himself first from poison. And here you see how we can get them busted with all the lies they come with. The man himself, he could not heal himself and he died because of a poison. Hmm? Uh, <clears throat> Muhammad always, he believed in the envy of the eye. Now, there is many naive people in the, even in Europe, believe in this garbage. The envy of the eye. And this is coming from pagan belief long before Islam. Look what Muhammad he said. <clears throat> Let us see which hadith we can read for you. Those are wrong, long. Uh, but no problem let us read this one from the beginning allah messenger said nation were displayed before me one or two prophets would pass by along with few follows a prophet would pass by companion by nobody then big a crowd of people passed in front of me and I, I i asked who are they my followers it was said no it was Moses and his followers. He said, look at the horizon. Behold, there was a multitude of people filling the horizon. And then it was said to me, look, there was a stretch in the sky. I mean, what is the... Oh. What happened here? What is that? The, the, we, we don't want to read the whole thing. Where is, where is, where is, where is... We want to see where he is talking about the eye, the envy of the eye. You see, they took it off from the beginning. What, what, there's, they took it from the translation. It's not there. You see, it's here in Arabic. But we cannot find it in the Hadith translation. It's gone. Let us see in this one. Hmm. Uh, Here we go. So Muhammad, he believed that an eye can destroy you, an eye can harm you, an eye can kill you. And actually, this is even in the Quran. You see, if you go in the Quran, you will see the following. Because Muslim, they might say, oh, the hadith not clear about that. Uh, 
<clears throat> Do you see it? This is Muhammad's superstition believe, and this is simply the uh, uh, the doctor Muhammad, the scientist Muhammad, who believe that somebody he can do witchcraft to you by blowing by the knot. And if you remember, we have a Muslim he called me before not long time ago, and he said the prophet somebody he made for him twelve knots, and he was under black magic for twelve months. It took Allah one month to open every one of those knots as you see in the front of you on the screen and Muhammad he always believed that he uh, uh, he's afraid of the evil of the environment when he invade because he can control you now this is obviously the one is talking here supposedly is Allah and the Muslim cannot say this is not true and this is a false teaching for this is Quran if this is the God, then where is the science? And the funny, the Muslims, they say that Muhammad himself, he was under witchcraft, and he was imagining himself having sex, but in fact he was not, which means whoever, whatever happened to him, for sure it's not witchcraft, but it is Muhammad mentally ill. Muhammad too, he fight a uh, plague by reading Quran. If we go in the Hadith, I don't know how many Hadith I have to show you. I mean, it's endless. <clears throat> Let us see. Too many. So if you are a Muslim who live in the Middle East and you have Corona, let us teach you, my friend, how to fight Corona easy and simple, granted or guarantee by a prophet Muhammad himself, the prophet of false prophecies. I, I ask Aisha, <clears throat> about treating poisonous sting a snake bite or a scorpion sting with rukia she said the prophet allowed the treatment of poison sting with rukia which may read in quran hmm. this is one hadith let's see the other one <clears throat> uh, Actually, the translation is really not not uh, not accurate uh, because it, they should mention the fever, but they are not mentioning the fever in translation. <clears throat> oh, we should not mention this one because they will say to you it's the Eiffel chain, brother. The Eiffel chain, this one. But no, we can show it to you from strong one. Here we go, Sahih Muslim. You see it. Here this one, this is another one. The prophet permitted Ruqya for the scorpion sting, the evil eye, and a namla. When numla, sorry, when namla. <laughs> With the ant. <laughs> the prophet said no spell is to be used Expect for the evil eye or a scorpion sting. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh boy. All of this, look at this. This is all the wisdom of a prophet Muhammad. Obviously, it's endless. I mean, who can beat Dr. Muhammad with his knowledge?
Huh? Nobody. Uh, what Muhammad he do before he go to bed, as an example. Let us see if we can find this one. How you can cleanse your bed so you don't get sick? The answer is very simple. Whenever the Prophet, he went to bed every night, he used to cup his hands together and blow over it after reciting Surat Al-Ikhlas and Surat Al-Falaq and Surat Al-Nast. All of those are superstition verses about envy and witchcraft and etc. And then he rubbed his hand over whatever part of his body he was able to rub, to, to rub, starting with his head face in front of his body, and he used to do that three times. If you do it, you see, here we go, the Trinity again. The, the Trinitarian Muhammad. Nothing work in Islam unless you would do it three times. So Muhammad, in order to fight illness and disease before he go to bed, he recited those three chapters, which is very small, very tiny, and very, very funny and very stupid about superstition, witchcraft, envy, somebody blow the knot for you. And how he do it? He wrap his hands. He, first, he put his hand in the front of his face, and then he, then he blow in his hands, and then he wrap his body, all his body with his hands. And supposedly, that will protect Muhammad from envy or from witchcraft. But if you remember, uh, all of this practice Muhammad he do was stupid because Muhammad he was infected according to Muslims by black magic and he was not saved by what he do so obviously if this is true that really there is a black magic then all the action of Muhammad did not work Did not work. Do we have any Muslim don't agree? <clears throat> Anyone? No, for sure we can show you uh, endless. Uh, 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 as an example, lice and uh, uh, bad insect, they will not give you diseases. This is simply a test from Allah. And this is a special test for Prophet of God. Because Muhammad used to be full of lice, an insect in his panty. So he claimed that this is, was a test from Allah for the Prophet. Affect only Prophets. Messenger of Allah, they said to him, which people have the greatest affliction? He replied, the prophet, and then the righteous. He said first the prophet, and then the righteous. And one of them was tested by poverty in such an extent that he could, could only find a robe to cover himself with, and he wore it. Another he was tested, and this is him, by fleas until they kill them. So the reason to have a fleas is not because you are uh, uh, dirty, you are not uh, washing yourself, washing your clothes, washing your body, no. But because Allah, he sent the fleas as a test to you. And this is obviously true. Right? Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? <clears throat> Now, for sure, we can mention uh, uh, tons of things Muhammad he said, but uh, I think we have enough, right? Any Muslim have a comment? Insect in his pant? Well, it's all over his body where the insect will be. 
Uh, are you going to say to me it doesn't say that, CP? <laughs> it doesn't say that, CP. It was in his head, CP. <laughs> Here we go. This is a hadith about a woman. Her name is Ummu Haram, which is a very funny name. Muhammad, he used to go to her house, he sit and he put his head in her lap, and she start picking up the lice from his head. She feed him up, she feed him, and sit down, and she delows his hair. Do you see it? It doesn't say that, CP. The lice is in his head, not his, his panty. This is what they will say, right? No, the lice, they go all over your body. Wherever there is hair, they will go. Wherever they can hide, they can go. Any Muslim have a comment? Actually, there was a lie. She was going to write a book about Muhammad because she was there down his private part and she witnessed a lot of things. So, like, she, 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 as I know, she told me the lies. She will call it the memory of a lies in the Prophet Panty. <clears throat> and the one saying, My imagination, where is my imagination? Here we go. This is Muhammad, he's infected with lies. And he is claiming that the prophet, prophets are tested by lies. So what, what imagination you are talking about? What is the imagination? Any Muhammad? Muhammadan? Anyone? So what we learned today that there is one medicine can solve all the problems in the world. It's a seed. As you see, one seed chapter the treat black common nigla seed here we go okay this uh, seed can save you from any disease in this earth anything the prophet said this black common is hidden for all diseases except death which is a stupid to say because how you can heal death by a seed you idiot and is is death is a disease so Obviously, Muhammad, he knew what he's talking about. And if scientists today, they are not using the seed to stop Corona and all diseases in the world. You see, you do not need to have anything in your house, any medicine, aspirin, antibiotic, uh, uh, Advil, all those stupid diseases made by the kuffar. Don't use them. You need only one seed to be in your house because this seed is fit for all kind of illness. Now the question here, how Prophet Muhammad, he knew this, unless he is a big doctor. Allah told him, brother. This is the knowledge from Allah. Allah, he knew everything. Allah is the one who made this seed. And in this seed, he put healing for any disease in the world. Actually, I will tell you my own uh, personal uh, experience. I used to have few diseases which is uh, heart problem liver problem kidney problem uh, uh, hearing problem uh, 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 running nose my, my, my nose always run before me you know i, I have to chase it uh, i use uh, a walking problem sleeping problem snoring problem uh, going to the bathroom problem uh, uh, you know the teeth problem uh, my tongue go to the right sometime, go to the left problem. 
uh, I have all kind of problems. We cannot even count for you, you know. And then the brother, I did read this hadith. And then I got this seed. I just got only one of them. Just one, one seed. Brother, after I ate it, not even two seconds. I forgot the, the AIDS, you know, AIDS. There is AIDS too. I did not count this one. AIDS and uh, what else? Uh, uh, <clears throat> actually, AIDS is, this, is, is, the, is the one which is the easiest between them. But anyway, after that, brother, all diseases are gone. All of them. It's just one seed. I mean, what do you want more? Let us be honest here. Muhammad been told this by Allah. If you remember, once a man, he came to Muhammad. <clears throat> and he said to him, There's, I will ask you three questions, which nobody knows except the prophet of God. I mean, the question alone is stupid. Because you just told him, nobody knows the answer except prophet of God. And you know the answer, the one who's asking the question. So you must be a prophet of God too. But anyway, this is not uh, important now. The guy, he said to him, <clears throat> Abdullah ibn Salam heard the news of the arrival of Allah Messenger to Medina. And he was on from those who collect in around. Okay. And then he said to him, a prophet, I will ask you about three things which nobody knows. You know the song? There's a there's a singer, his name is a Christian prince. He sings it always, his name. Like nobody knows, nobody knows, nobody knows, nobody, ta -da -da, nobody. Nobody knows, nobody knows, nobody knows, nobody. Nobody knows, nobody knows, nobody knows, nobody, unless he's a prophet. This is where the song is coming from, just to let you know. So, at least he is a prophet. So this is the quiz of a prophethood. If somebody is a prophet, you ask him these questions. If you have no answer for them, the correct answer is he's a false prophet. Firstly, and when a Muslim, he say firstly, it means disaster is coming. What is the first portent of the hour? Okay, what is the first portent? <laughs> then, what is the first meal people will eat in paradise? I mean, this is nobody knows, man. This is the menu in the restaurant of Allah. Somebody have to get in and get the menu. And what make the baby look like his father? Hmm. The prophet, just to show you that Muhammad, he doesn't speak from his own. The prophet said, just now, just now, Jibreel, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jibreel, Jibreel is talking to me. <laughs> Jibreel is holding my hair. <clears throat> uh, uh, hold on. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody. Da -da -da. Nobody. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody. Hmm. Save Allah. Save Jibreel. Save Muhammad. Nobody. True. It's true. Just now. Just now. Just now. Jibreel informed me just now, just now. Jibreel, I mean, this guy, he have a strong, the guy, he asked him the question, bingo. Jibreel, ta -da 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 Prophet Muhammad, he answered the, the, macro, the, the, the phone. And then Jibreel, he said to him, brother, Prophet Muhammad, I'm going to give you the answer. So you can refute this idiot. Prophet Muhammad, he said to Jibreel, are you sure you are Jibreel or not Zakir Naik? What are you talking about? Because you sound like Jack and Nick. Muhammad, listen carefully. I'm going to give you the answer. And I want you immediately to give him the answer. And tell him that the Bril told me. Unbelievable. And then Abdullah he said to him, Jibreel, Jibreel told you? Like what the heck? Like what 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 what? The guy like, what the heck? Jibreel told you? Are you sure? Jibreel himself? Are you serious? <laughs> the prophet, he said, yes. Abdullah, he said, he is among the angel of the enemy of the Jews. Now the Jews, they hate Jibreel. Why? <laughs> Where we can find this? <laughs> On that, the prophet, he recited the verse. Here we go. The guy, the guy, he said that. Muhammad, he made a verse about it. 
and whoever the enemy of Jew of Jibreel, let him die in his fury. Ah, oh, fury? May Allah fury you. Okay, then Muhammad he got the answer. Now forget about that. that you know, Muhammad he give the answer of Jibreel. As for the first portent of hour, it will be fire that will be collected people from east and west. Okay, we can let this one go because there's no way to prove it true or not. And as for the first meal of people of paradise, it will be the the the, the coded <coughs> loop of the fish liver. Anyone knows why? Why he says this? Because the Arab they believe that this part, if you eat it from the from the from the from the whale. Uh, this is whale, by the way, not fish. The translation is false. Uh, you will have a very strong, uh, uh, like sexual, it's like a Viagra. So Allah, right away, when you go to heaven, he will give you this part of the whale to eat it, so you get ready. The women are waiting. And then, and as of the man, now he will tell you the, the, the third question, how the baby look like his father or his mother, which means boy or a girl? Muhammad, he come with the answer. It will be, okay, then he says, and as for the child, and if the man discharged proceed the, that of the women, then the child resembled the father, and the women, if the women discharged proceed the, the man, then the child resembled the mother. This is, this is science. And remember, Jibreel just told me. Jibreel just told me. By the way, obviously, uh, YouTube is, is uh, playing games with my with my channel. I have tens of thousands of subscribers. So there is no way, because nobody received notification, nobody can see my page, nobody can see even the video is listed. Nobody. Nobody see, nobody see, nobody see, nobody. Da -da -da. And I don't care. I will do it. I will spank him. I don't care. Nobody. Even if I am alone, I will spank Muhammad alone, and you can play all your games, everybody. I mean, look at this. Nobody get notification. Nobody can see the video listed. I mean, why this is happening to my channel? Because, brother, there is Muslims working in YouTube, brother. And they are obviously, they are targeting my channel, brother. But, brother... Don't worry, brother. I will eat those seed and I will proceed. Thank you. Hmm. <clears throat> what do you think? Make a CD. What are you talking about? I have many CD in the market. Let me let me let me sing for you the CD. This is a new one. Nobody heard it yet. N not even a single person heard this song yet. Trust me. Firstly, this is a song which nobody heard, and you will get the honor to hear it. Nobody ever, ever. Okay, are you ready? <clears throat> nobody, nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody, 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 no, nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody, nobody, no. Nobody know, nobody know, nobody. This is the first time I sing it. This song, this second. I, I just sing it five minutes ago. Oh, this is a different one. This is different, uh, you know, uh, you know, you know, just shut up. Actually, I have a newer song, which I'm going to share with you only. Don't share it with anyone, please, because we did not even put it in the market, okay? <clears throat> I don't know if I should share because the publisher he might be upset from me now. Nobody, nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody tell nobody, nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody come, nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody. Okay, so this is my last song, which nobody knows about it already. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. So what you are saying to me, Prophet Muhammad, you do not know what he's talking about. What's wrong with you? Isn't it obvious that the Prophet, he knew everything? Now he knew. I told my dad, by the way. I told him, Dad, 
I know what happened in the bedroom between you and my mother. He said, son, behave. Shame on you. He said, come on, dad. I'm, we are growing now. He said, how you know? Do you have a spy camera or something? At that time, there was no camera. Um, I know there was no camera. That's true. So how you know? He said, okay, don't you want to know first what I learned? What you learn? You are the one who have orgasm first. How you know? Uh, because I look like you, not like my mother. I am a male and I look like you. My dad was really like, what? How you know that? Who taught you that? I told him Prophet Muhammad said that. My, my father, after I said that to him, not only he believed in a he believed in Prophet Muhammad to the point he became a Hindu. He became a Hindu immediately and he started singing the song which nobody knows. Nobody, nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody teradam, nobody, nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody. I will ask you three questions which nobody knows. Nobody knows their answer. Nobody. Me. Nobody knows the answer for them except a prophet and Jibreel. And this is the answer. I mean, you are a professional man. <clears throat> Any of you people until now are not converting. What's wrong with you? Seriously, what's wrong with you? Your song, my song will be in your head. <laughs> Trust me, you are not the first one. <laughs> I'm very humble. <laughs> but people go in the street these days, they do two things. They take drugs and sing my song. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> oh. Reduce your quantity, CP. What, what, how I can reduce that? What does that mean? Hello? Don't remind me. Yesterday we asked a guy, uh, his name Ultimate Fort. We said to him, there is uh, elephants in Yemen. He said, yes, it's stupid CP in the zoo. <laughs> and the funny Christian prince he said to him the only one I see in the zoo is you you idiot <laughs> oh boy okay uh, uh, <clears throat> and you lied it's not uh, elephants it's one elephant hmm. I ask all the stars to debate me they will debate me but, they, but I have a condition before they debate me they will they will sing the song. We have to sing the anthem of the debate. Nobody, nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody. If they say it is not Islamic, I will show them. Here we go. It says here. Read, 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 read carefully. Read carefully. I will ask you about three things, which nobody, nobody knows, nobody knows, nobody knows, nobody. Do you see the? Do you see the words? Me and Prophet Muhammad, we have a partnership in this song. I did not make it my own. I cannot claim this honor. Like, hello. Hmm. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Look, there's 300 people only watching my video. Obviously, there's something fishy in YouTube. There is no way. This has never happened. 300 only. I mean, what's wrong? Especially in the time of Corona where everybody is at home. They are not letting people find my videos. It doesn't, it doesn't appear. Those are the one here. It's just the one who, who got it from my pa Patreon. They are hiding. How many of you get notification from YouTube? How many of you got notification? Are you getting the notification, guys? 
from YouTube? I think nobody, nobody, nobody getting notification, nobody. But who cares? 300 is a blessing for me. Uh, you know, if only me is here is a blessing, who cares? I will do it. You're going to stop me. Yeah, they are doing it. I hope I did not uh, make you uh, hear my... I'm, I'm drinking a, a very cold tea now. You see what happened when you are single? Your tea is uh, your tea is cold. Your coffee is cold. Everything is cold. Your food is cold. But however, so what if you are single? Still you are happy and you are singing. Nobody. Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody. Da -da -da. Very beautiful, brother. Who cares? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, uh. Uh, so, any uh, guys, shall we go to the other channel? Because supposedly we are going to go live on air uh, uh, in the uh, in the quality of life, and uh, I did not go. I don't know if people are even waiting for me there. Uh, let me see what what's going on there. Give me a second. Quality of life. Maybe people are waiting there now, and they don't know we are here. Unbelievable. Yeah, there are seven people waiting there. <laughs> no, actually, look like maybe it's the same people. They are here. They are. <clears throat> maybe we'll uh, we will we will do it tomorrow. Tomorrow. We will do it tomorrow. Yeah, we will not go to that channel today. We will go tomorrow. You see now because of uh, Corona. You see, by the way, Corona is very ugly, and but in the same time, we learn a lot of things from this Corona. You see how Islamic propaganda, they try to use anything, even evil time, to promote their evil God and evil prophet. Secondly, Corona is able to help us to understand that those who don't believe in God, they have nothing to depend on. As you see, all those scientists, they are in disability in the front of a stupid virus. So what if next a year or two years from now we have five seven viruses more aggressive than this what would happen and if you think that cannot happen you are mistaken because i believe the same virus today which is going maybe to find a vaccine for it tomorrow or maybe next year god knows how many millions will die before they finish it or tens of thousands he will like he will develop himself or he will change his structures and come in different form or let's say ability the same virus because this corona is not only one virus is many viruses the same family they are family you know so you 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 destroy one he come back in different in different uh, way and each time you fight him he come back more aggressive so what we learn from this uh, virus that a human being is a is a foolish creature he think that he is God because they told him there is something that's called science can solve your problem. And then we find that the science they are talking about is scientifically wrong. Literally. Actually, many people who die in this virus because doctors, they were giving them the wrong medicine. They start giving them antibiotic and etc. And then they notice that those people, they are dying from that. So doctors were killing people by practicing their science. Hey, by the way, I want to give you a tip. I'm, I'm, I'm serious about that. There is a very nice, uh, uh, easy way to always to be protected from bacteria and viruses. Uh, you know, like uh, the, the old people, they uh, uh, they practice things. This is, this, is their, their, this is their own science, but it's science of practice. Same as doctors, everybody is practicing and then they learn. Olive oil, olive oil is one of the most powerful food you can eat to improve your immune system. Same time, 
like now you are wearing a mask to go outside. So what the mask will do? What, what, what exactly the mask will do? The mask will prevent the, the cells of your nose from sucking that, uh, that, that uh, uh, virus. So when the virus go inside your nose, uh, he will he will trap he will be trapped with the hair and whatever that in, in the in the nose he will not go directly to your lung you know uh, but then he will be observed your nose have like a liquid you know like the same as your tongue have a liquid uh, and he will be able to go through you can put some oil olive oil in a piece of cotton the same one you use for your ears paint it with olive oil and paint inside your nose before you get out. That will create a mask, will create a, 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 a virus. They don't like this kind of, they cannot survive this oil actually. So uh, you can paint inside your inside your nose uh, with, the, with, the, with the olive oil, and that will create a natural mask, which is not going to bother you when you are outside. All right. And you don't have to accept what I'm saying. You can go and search it, see if this is true or not. Um, <clears throat> yeah, real olive oil, the extra version, not uh, the, you know. This is what I was saying. When we say olive oil, we mean olive oil, nothing else. When we say olive oil, it have to be pure olive oil. Yeah. Actually, you know, I, I told you I, I have my arm is hurting me. At first, I thought because I lifted something very heavy because sometimes I carry really heavy, heavy duty stuff. Uh, but it turned to be, look like it, it is because I'm sitting in the computer for long and my arm in a certain position. So my muscles are inflamed. And I spoke to my mom and she said, what is the best medicine for this case? Do you remember? I said, no, I don't remember. She said, olive oil. So my arm was really hurting me so bad. Extremely bad. I mean, to the point, it's, I feel like if it's ripping me, like the muscles is ripping off. Uh, so I added olive oil. I start adding more olive oil to my food. And uh, in less than 24 hours, the pain is gone. And my hand is way, 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 way better than uh, before. So olive oil is, is mentioned in the Bible. It's natural, does not have side effect like the stupid medicine they give us those doctors. They give you a, a medicine and then you will find that the medicine have 1000 sound uh, 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 like side effect uh, uh, beside the solution. No, no, you don't heat it. You just add it, add it with your food. It's actually, it's better if you eat the olive oil fresh. The more fresh it is, the better like salad, etc., you know. But you can add it to your rice, as an example, if you are not having salad. Let us say, today, I don't have salad. Actually, for me, I always add olive oil to, the, to, my, to my rice. <clears throat> uh, olive oil will keep you healthy, strong, you know, and uh, will give you a good immune system. Like, I don't, you know, I don't really get sick, really, really. I don't really, I mean, I don't know when last time I get sick. I forgot, but uh, uh, obviously garlic. Uh, and by the way, what Muhammad said about garlic, I forgot. Hold on, I did not mention this. Muhammad, he hid garlic. Garlic. And obviously, this is scientifically uh, accurate, brother. Uh, it was said, Anas. What did you hear the prophet saying about garlic? He said, "Whoever has eaten garlic." He should not approach our mosque. Why? Because angels, brother, angels, they run away from garlic. Look like the angels of Muhammad, they are Dracula. Do you see it? And garlic, by the way, is very, very natural antibiotic food. Actually, if you mix garlic with olive oil, both of them, they will make an amazing product to protect you. You can, uh, uh, like, uh, there's people, they, they, they have their own, uh, let us say, medicine for the winter. So what they do, they, uh, they, they smash the, the, the garlic, and then they put it in a jar with the olive oil, mix it together, and leave it there. They store it. 
So when before when the winter come, you know, they, you can you can see there's many YouTube I think they about about uh, how to use this uh, remedy, and it's going to help you a lot. And look here, Muhammad, all those things he mentioned, not to eat, because the God, the the angels will hate you. They are very healthy. Look what Muhammad saying. He said garlic and then garlic, onion, and leeks. Let him not to approach our masjid, for the angels are offended by that which is offend mankind. But those are very uh, healthy. Food. And remember, Muslims, they pray five times a day. So that's mean for life we cannot eat it. <clears throat> for a lifetime garlic is very important actually if you can eat every day one or two pieces of garlic it's good for cholesterol good for your heart uh, good for your immune system it's antibiotic it's it's very good you know <clears throat> and yeah another thing to to increase your immune system to to get a power a more powerful one uh, eat uh, yogurt see yogurt are they are bacteria and because they are bacteria they 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 uh, let's say there's a competition uh, yogurt is a good bacteria and there's a bad bacteria so the good bacteria will go in your stomach and it will destroy the bad bacteria so yogurt is very good olive oil is very good garlic is very good Many, many of those things we should always keep in our uh, food diet and that will give us very better uh, immune system. All right. <clears throat> well, there's many for sure. There's many more. I mean, there, there's many uh, vegetation. They are very good, etc. But we are mentioning those which is in, uh, every, every hand can reach into them. I mean, you do not need, uh, because you see, in some countries, there's not, not everything is available, right? So, olive oil usually is exists everywhere. Uh, uh, garlic is exists everywhere. It's not something uh, even expensive. Like I can say, okay, coconut is good, right? But not everybody can afford to buy coconut, because in some places, it's very expensive. Some places, it's very cheap, like in the Philippines. In the Philippines, if you go in the province, you will find the coconut in the tree. And in the street, nobody even pick them up. <clears throat> can you cook the garlic garlic is better if you eat it fresh but you can cook it why not but you will lose some of the benefit when you cook it anything you cook from vegetables you lose some benefit anything but the, the but you should always especially now cook very well uh, meat you know you have to cook it very well to be sure that there is no bad things inside. Better is medicine? No, you see medicine, medicine because you give up, you can, it's too late. That's why you take medicine. But those, the garlic and olive oil, they, they will not let you need the medicine because if you keep taking them, you will not get sick mostly. But medicine, because it's too late now, you are sick and you need a fast solution. But the best, the, the best medicine is the one you take, not when you are sick, the one who prevents sickness. People, they do the opposite. People, they eat rubbish, and then when they get sick, their immune system became, became weaker. You, you see, it's like uh, you have a bad oil and good oil. So I, I'm going to drive a car, and there's a car, the oil mixed with the bad stuff, water, etc. So the engine is not burning well. And there's a car have extra version gas, powerful. Which one is going to be able to, to, uh, to, 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 to do better? Which engine? Both engines are the same, but the fuel is wrong. This is how you think about food. Food is your fuel. Fuel for health. This fuel is going to be distributed to all your body. Some will go to feed your health system. 
some they will go to feed your cells some they will feed your brain some they will feed your blood so simply it is melty food and if that food is bad you will get bad right <clears throat> Uh, milk is so cheap in USA depend on the location actually in uh, like the location I am in right now it's not really cheap compared to the other location where I live uh, it's almost three times more than that location yeah but still is cheap compared to other places yeah uh, and I, by the way I make my own yogurt maybe one day I will I will I will show you how I make my yogurt all right which is very simple by the way I mean you can do it yourself it's very simple you 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 bring uh, whole milk which mean not the milk which is taken uh, the fat from it a milk which is not touched by any processing and then you boil it be sure when you boil it you keep like moving it so it doesn't burn and then you have to uh, wait until it cool down until it is the temperature of a, your human body same as your body temperature and then you bring some little garlic you mix it very well with it cover the pot keep it in a warm place rub it with some if you live in indonesia you do not need to rub it with anything it's warm there anyway just keep it in a warm place and come after 10 hours you have yogurt that's it as simple as that i never buy yogurt actually i don't buy i only buy yogurt if i want to make yogurt like first time let's say uh, i am out of yogurt uh, and I want to make yogurt so what I do I just buy a little container of yogurt to make the big yogurt <clears throat> otherwise I don't buy really yogurt I make it my own and it tastes way better than the one they make it in the store because in the store they add uh, things to the yogurt to make it more solid it's not really pure yogurt you see all the yogurt you see in the store is not really pure yogurt they add things to the to the to the milk to make it more solid right <clears throat> uh, anyway so guys don't forget to download the videos as you see YouTube is not helping us and not many people they learn they learn about the video and I will change the timing for broadcast for uh, uh, quality of life into tomorrow because obviously today it's too late to do it. Any uh, any request? Anything? Oh, I forgot to tell you. I have a song I did not share it with anyone, which is nobody knows about it. Uh, and when I say nobody knows about it, uh, then nobody knows about it, you know. Uh, but because you are my family and my friends i will be happy to share it with you but please don't share it in youtube or in facebook or etc i want it to be private just between me and you all right the song is nobody nobody no nobody no nobody no nobody da, da, da. nobody nobody know that angel is afraid of garlic nobody no nobody nobody no nobody no Nobody know, nobody, nobody, mm, nobody know. <laughs> oh boy, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, how the prophet knew this? I cannot believe it, man. Oof. So these angels, they are afraid of garlic too, not only from dogs, not only from pigs. Garlic and onion and leeks, may Allah leak you. And I was wondering why Muhammad is afraid of from the scandals of weak leak. What is what, what's wrong with this angel? I mean, what kind of angel this angel is? If little onion scared the hell of you, you idiot. <clears throat> if we call Zach and I can we ask him about this, what he will say? Good friend, first of all, I am a big fat liar. It's one elephant, not many elephants. Oh, Zach and I, we are not talking about the elephant now. I don't care. It's one elephant. Okay, it's one elephant. Still, how elephant can live in the desert and there's no water? 
I don't care. It will live in. Okay, but you open this topic now, but you will not answer. How an elephant can walk in the desert or this distance without water? I don't care. I'm telling you, it's an elephant. Okay, I got it. Uh, uh, Zach and I, uh, is it true that the name of the elephant is Mahmoud? Exactly. How the name of the elephant is the same as the name of your prophet? I don't know. But don't you think this is weird that your prophet have the same name of the elephant? Why? Do you think this elephant was a prophet too? Good the print. I have no it. And I answer you. And you are a liar. Okay, what about the, uh, the angels? They are upset and they are uh, in fear of garlic. They get offended. How you offend the, the angels by garlic? First of all, imagine yourself, you are eating garlic. Or onion. Or leek. And then you go to the mosque. The person that you, he will be disgusted. Hey, but I don't care about the next person now. Here it says the angels. Exactly. You are ignorant. Because when you are in the mosque, the person next to you is an angel. Ah, the person next to me in the mosque is an angel? Really? That's so good to be true. So... I am in the mosque now, and there is next to me an angel, and I ate garlic. So what will happen to him? First of all, he will get dizzy. He will get what? Dizzy, dizzy. The angel will get dizzy. Like, what does that mean? Like, there is birds that will go around his head. Exactly. Uh, but why the angels will get dizzy? Because of the garlic. I mean, what the garlic did... Christian Prince, you are stupid. I am doctor. Garlic is antibiotic. And the truth is, it is anti angel Not only antibiotic. Ah, the garlic is antibiotic. Yes, you can do. And they will never enter your house. So how the angel of death will come to my house? I will eat garlic every day. Christian Prince, this is a good question. I never thought about it. Yeah, because the angel of death, he is the one who will take my soul, right? So if I eat garlic, he will never get close to me. So how he can do it? Hmm. And this is why I'm going to share with you a song which nobody knows. It's called Nobody, Nobody, No, Nobody, No, Nobody, No, Nobody, 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 No, Nobody, No. Nobody knows, nobody. Mm. Nobody knows this information. Nobody knows this information. Nobody knows this information. Nobody. You can find our CD in garlic. That www garlic onion leaks that come angels get screwed. I mean, what kind of angels they are offended by a garlic? Did you watch Dragula movie, brother? <clears throat> hmm? What is this? This is too much. Dr. Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad, just follow his uh, uh, vegetation step. <clears throat> what do you mean, please stop? I'm just sharing with you this beautiful opera. This is opera, by the way. This is not a song. Okay, let me. I, I will give you the opera version of it. <clears throat> la, 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 la. La 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 No no nobody no no nobody no no nobody no Nobody Nobody no nobody no nobody no nobody mm -hmm. So this is the opera version which we are going to have in CD for you before the Christmas I promise by the will of Allah <laughs> Unbelievable Crazy people crazy people What I will do with you what I would do with you, huh? What I would do with you? You don't deserve my uh, <clears throat> skills. <laughs> what do you mean again? What's wrong with you? My friend, I'm not singing the same song again. This is YouTube is stuck. Don't you hear that sometimes the CD is stuck in that? This is not the same song, where is the wall? What do you mean? Uh, Actually, my voice is tired, you know. 
because I drank too much coffee today. <clears throat> coffee hurt my voice. <sighs> hmm. So, any, uh, do we have any Muslim in the chat? Not even a single Muslim? Not even one? Hmm. <clears throat> There is a there's an Arabian woman, uh, you know, from my town. Uh, she want to make cake, so uh, she uh, she got a CD teaching her how to make cake. She turned the CD on. It says, first of all, get twenty eggs. Now, break an egg. Break an egg. Break an egg now the woman she is breaking eggs and then she is out of the 20 but the cd keeps saying break an egg she called her husband he sent her more eggs break an egg break an egg husband please send more 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 eggs we are out of eggs the cd keep going saying break an egg uh, and this is what muslims do avoid garlic avoid onion avoid leek Break an egg. Break an egg. But nobody will ask himself why. I mean, should you, shouldn't you stop and see what's happening? How in the world this is, can be an advice of a prophet? Is it really the angels is offended or Muhammad, he don't like the smell and he is making up lies? Hmm? See, something wrong with YouTube. There's no way only 300 people watching. It's impossible. Especially I'm singing opera. I mean, uh, you see, if I did not sing opera, I, I would accept that if there's only 10,000 watching. But I sing opera. <clears throat> Do we have a Muslim in the chat? If we have a Muslim in the chat, I will open my Skype. If there's any Muslim, <coughs> we have a Muslim. Okay, let me open my Skype if you like to call me. All right, my Skype is open. If there's any Muslim on a call, only Muslim, please. Anyone? Usually they call me when I go. You see, I mean, this they are funny. They are heroes. They call my uh, Skype, and then you answer them. They play for you Quran. And what the Quran is saying? Nobody, nobody, no, nobody, no. But the slow version, you know, like not uh, my song, like nobody because you know you have to be slow to follow this cult so you have to go slow and they add in the whole letter you know they add in. i mean it's like it's like putting your head inside an instant pot and somebody knock that the the, the the pot with the, with the with the with a piece of metal like boing in your head this is me. So, do we have a Muslim want to call me? We go, hey, get in Skype. So, what is the Muslim?
Anyone? <clears throat> So you made me open Skype, go in Skype. Do you know how, okay, I'll tell you how hard the process to go in Skype. You go in Skype, you put your username, password, and then you have to say inshallah. Because if you don't say inshallah, you will enter into half Skype, not the whole Skype. You remember the story of a Prophet Solomon when he said, I'm going to have sex with all my 99 wives, but he forgot to say inshallah. So he will make them pregnant. But he forgot to say inshallah here we go he got only half a child so you made me go in skype and i forgot to say inshallah and now i have half skype who want to half skype me is this true muslims that if you don't say inshallah you cannot make your wife a bread net is that true Uh, brother, do you think if I say inshallah to my wife, I'm not married, but when I get married, inshallah, brother. So if she take off her clothes and now she took off her panty, do I need to have sex with her or it's enough just to say inshallah and she will get a bread net? I mean, obviously, there's no need for sex. Just say inshallah, she would have a baby. Hey, wife, take off your clothes. Why, honey? Because we want to have a baby. Hello? Okay, I'm so excited. You did not do it for long time <laughs> keep it dreaming I will never do it <laughs> so what you will do <laughs> I will say inshallah <laughs> unbelievable wisdom this is very wise the prophet he's how he knew this how the prophet he knew that if you don't say inshallah you cannot make your wife a bread net you tell me it's impossible Unless he is inspired by God. Hmm. <clears throat> you remember the hadith, right? Man, Prophet Muhammad is amazing. A lot of sense. 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 <laughs> Sorry, the city is stuck, so I have to repeat. A lot of sense. Hmm. <clears throat> Any Muslim? And you know, uh, if you have a corona and uh, let us say corona causes you to cough and your stomach is hurting the doctor he will give you a medicine if the medicine is not working and you are dying the doctor will say to you that your stomach is lying and Allah told the truth you remember this hadith no have you ever heard of a doctor saying to the patient, your belly is, is, is lying? <clears throat> Any Muslim lights call before we go? Not a single Muslim. I'm very disappointed. Disappointed. Nobody. Nobody call. Nobody call. Crypt and print. <laughs> you are lying. It's one elephant. Hmm. Anyone? Anyone elephant? Hmm. Okay. Well, how many of us, because I noticed that not many of you guys are downloading the videos and doing... Uh, what should be done? I noticed that the number of people look like nobody care. 
Uh, right now, after I finish, maybe two hours, three hours from now, I will delete all the last few videos we have in the last week. So yes, I delete my videos. I don't keep them. So please download the videos and share them with your friends. Don't make the work we make, we do here, go for nothing. All right? Because those videos are very important. Somebody, the Muslims, they try to fool him. They try to, de to deceive your children. Try to make them convert to Islam by lying to them. So what we do here is extremely important. It might be funny for you, but it's not, for me, it's not, it's not really funny. But uh, let us say uh, a teacher who makes his student excited in the class is he knew what he's doing. So I don't want people to be yawning, sleeping, and forgetting what we say. So the reason, this is why we make it mixed with comedy. Islam is a joke, that's obvious. Muhammad is a stupid, that's not the question. Uh, but I add my own flavor to the teaching, so you guys remember it easy, and you will not leave here with nothing. Because, uh, you know, uh, jokes, they stay in your brain. Speeches, they will not usually. So if we can make the speech a joke, and the same time we put the information there, that will make it stay in your brain for a long, long time. All right? Uh, actually, one of you just sent me a video of uh, uh, David Wood debating with a Christian. Maybe I should make a video about this guy. Uh, this guy is saying that we should not uh, 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 like speak against Islam or mock Islam. Uh, you know, I should give him a shower, maybe. That is stupid to say. Anyway. I want to say thank you all for being here. Thanks for all the supporters who support me doing nothing, which is beautiful. And uh, they are uh, taking my songs and selling them in the market, which is not fair. I heard that some of you, they are taking my painting and putting it in the museum under his name, which is not fair. This is my painting. Like the prophet teaching breastfeeding for adult. Somebody told me that my painting now is exist in an adult museum for porn, which is not fair because this is my drawing, brother. <clears throat> Man, I mean, you cannot share anything these days with people. They will use it and they will uh, take it, uh, you know. I mean, what's wrong with you? And then the Muslim, they will say, Did you say to her, suckle me? Second, me here we go, Christian prince, a Christian predator, predator, predator. He said to her, "Suckle me." Hey, this is your prophet, you idiot. Said, "Suckle me, not me, donkey." So the one who said to a woman, "Suckle me," is a, a, a sexual predator. It was your prophet saying that. Oh, this is a new song. Suckle me now, suckle me tomorrow, suckle me, suckle me. Nobody, mm -hmm. nobody. Can suckle me except you, mashallah, alhamdulillah, suckle me. Prophet teaching suckling, adult suckling, suckle everyone, everybody, nobody, nobody, you know. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, this is a true prophet. This is a very open minded to the point his zipper never closed. I mean, this is how you know if a person is open minded or not. You look at his zipper. The zipper of a prophet Muhammad is always open, open-minded, very open-minded, brother. Prophet, why your zipper is open? <laughs> Christian Prince, you are stupid. First of all, I don't even have a zipper. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry, I thought you have a zipper because it's open really wide. And by the way, we see nothing <laughs> because it's so small. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Uh, so, no, I'm really, I hope that a Muslim will call, but nobody calling. All right. Okay. Okay. I got only text from Christians.
you would with those icons like people are crying are you crying from laughing now what you would do if you are attend my classroom for real huh what you would do what you would do <clears throat> How many of you wish to, to attend a real seminar of mine in, in person? How many of you really? You know, uh, like I did many, many seminars. And the, 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 the thing is, most of those seminars, I mean, nobody knows about me really, except those who they invited me. But it happens sometimes that people recognize me from my voice. So I remember once I finished my seminar, and there was two girls that came. I was like shaking hands with people, you know, after you finish. And then uh, two girls, they were standing in the side talking and whispering and etc. and looking at me. And then I said, okay, can I help you? Uh, I said, I have a question. I said, okay. I said, are you Christian Prince? <laughs> I said, because they don't, some seminars, they introduce me as a Christian Prince. Sometimes they decide not to say it's a Christian Prince. They say just a Christian brother. Uh, I said yes. She, she said, "See, I told you this is him. This is his voice." <laughs> Unbelievable! Yeah, finally they saw Christian Prince, and this is why they never attended that church again. Man, they get scared. Oh boy! They took the first taxi. They all, like they turned their their back. They did not even say hello to me. They said, the "Second time I'm a Christian Prince." Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I think they were afraid I'm going to sing for them the famous song which I sing. Nobody, nobody know, nobody know. No. <laughs> One of the funniest seminar I did, there's a brother, he's a, he's a minister. Now this guy, this their, their church is very, I mean, very, very conservative, you know, so like, he was really worried about me being in the stage in such a church because I say things which usually you cannot say in the church. So he will introduce me. So he starts saying, today our guest is kind of different than normal guests we see in TV or radio and media. And I'm sitting in the chair, okay, oh boy, what this guy is doing. He is kind of different with his words and the way he say things. He is not really politically correct. And I am trying to make you understand. And okay, boy, man, the guy, he think like I'm going to explode like a bomb in the stage, what he's talking about. And you need to know that we should listen to him to the end. Oh, man, the guy is afraid they will leave before I start. <laughs> Man, I was saying to myself, stop, they will leave before you start, you know, you scared the hell of them. I mean, what this guy would do in the stage. And you need to know that really he will, he's really fun, by the way. He's really, really, really fun. But he have different way. And I, okay, so, I, so I, I went to the stage. I said, give me the microphone and please let me introduce myself and save yourself from this. <laughs> oh. The poor guy was sweating all over. He did not know what to say, how to say it. Get ready. Tsunami is coming. So anyway, I went in the stage and I started talking. And uh, the church, when we, like after we, we you know, uh, we started, when we started, it, it was, there is still some space for people to, I mean, to sit. Not all the chairs are full. Big church, actually. But still, there's a space uh, vacant, and then people they start texting, you know, and uh, you know, and more people are coming. When I finished, not only there is no space for people to sit, the doors they open, the windows that there is a windows and there is a yard. People they are from they're listening. People are dying laughing. You know what dying laughing? Literally, people they are sweating. They can't breathe. Honest to God, people, they sweat, they cannot breathe. You know, you can, please stop. <laughs> you know, the, those guys who invited me, they, they, they take a break outside. They are, the, the air condition is not, not, not uh, is useless, you know. When, when you, uh, when you uh, laugh, and those countries are very, very hot. So when you laugh really from your heart, you really, really sweat. So 
you know, so badly. Uh, and uh, after I after I finish, this uh, this uh, minister he said to me last time you went in that uh, stage you spoke differently, do different things. Did you like prepare uh, yourself? I said no. I said so. Those jokes you make when you made them. I said I just made them in the stage. <laughs> You know, they think like uh, before I go, I have like I don't have any, I don't have any like I don't, you know, I, I make I make things up like the conversation with Zachary Naik, you know. <laughs> so they said, how you when you like did you prepare yourself? You didn't, I didn't see anything with you. I said no, I just made them, you know. I said so all this funny stuff, it just like out of the bloom. I said yeah, just uh, say, say it. I said, how you gonna do that? I said this is me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> No, no, I by by Christians, by Christians. But sometimes we have like I remember once I went to uh, to a city. It's called Cagayan do Air do do Aero. I'm not sure if the name correct. Uh, uh, let me let me search the name. Anyway, that territory territory is is full of Muslims. This is where the Muslims as ISIS in the Philippines they took over a city in Marawi. Uh, Cagayan do Aero. Let me see if I'm saying the name correctly. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, so when I went uh, in this uh, in this uh, town, uh, first of all, like they were waiting for me in the airport. The, the airport right away you arrive, you you in the front of the airport there is a flag of ISIS in the Philippines. Imagine there is a mosque. Everybody in the airport is a Muslim. They have beard. I mean, right away you feel like you, you think you are going to Indonesia, you know. Uh, this is the this is the area in the Philippines, all right. And here there is. Let us see where is Marawi. Uh, anyway, so. Uh, there was a present in the front. The, the, when the Muslims came, the the pastors of the church they put them in the front seats in the front of me, right away in the front. And there was one Filipina with them. Supposedly she is a princess. You know those the people they have a tribe. They have a like tribe, and they they have like those tribe they have leaders. So she is a princess of the head of the tribe. And this uh, this uh, Filipina, uh, she was a Muslim and she became a Christian later. Uh, I mean, uh, she became she was a, she was born from a Muslim family and then she became a Christian after that. And there was like a long line of uh, of Muslims. And actually, the Muslims they were dying laughing. I mean, there not even one of them he got upset. Um, uh, one of them he asked me if he can get a CD of what I am saying. I said we don't have a CD really, uh, but you can ask uh, the church if they are recording anything. They can give it to you. Yeah. So the Muslim they were really they were laughing and they, uh, um, you know, depend what kind of Muslims you are talking about. There is the there is the the you know, most of them they don't know what is, what this cult is about. They were laughing, having fun. And they said, "This is so. This is all is true. I mean, this is crazy. This is how you know, yeah." <clears throat> Mendenau, not Mendau. Yeah. Anyway, I you know I did the seminars in many places, not only in the Philippines. Uh, the only the only issue I have when I go in the Philippines, it it costs me good money because uh, uh, usually I don't take a donation uh, from those poor countries, so everything you have to pay from your own pocket, and it's not cheap. You know, it's not cheap. <clears throat> Uh, Philippines is beautiful, but I'm really worried about Filipinos these days because of this corona. You see, like some areas in the Philippines is very busy, like in Manila, it's very crowded city, crazy, you know. 
So this uh, this corona, if uh, if there is no vaccine for it, you know, this will be very very bad. What do you do with Muslims who pick up and choose hadith? No problem, they can do that. Still beat them with their logic. Here we go. My Skype is open. I challenge any Muslim to call me and he chooses his Quran or he chooses hadith and he still his prophet will get busted. So what? Choose. Choose as you wish. Actually, we practice this always. We say to the Muslim, choose the best verse for you in the Quran and challenge me to prove it wrong. Isn't this what always we do? Right? <clears throat> now it's cheap. Yeah, but there's no flying now. Nobody will let you get in. It's a wrong timing to go anywhere. Otherwise, you see, I'm, I don't really mind. But for me, I don't prefer to go in an airplane in the time of such a thing. You have to be smart because sitting in an airplane for many hours, a small box. So if there is only one person is infected, he can infect you. You know, now some some people, they say, well, aren't you a believer? So what if you are a believer? A believer should be smart, not a fool. So there's a disease and the disease is, is a disease. This is not a joke. So. Uh, a believer should not risk uh, his life if he can avoid danger for no reason. You know? Yeah, but you know, like uh, you see, uh, countries who have a lot of more advanced uh, technology, they are in disability with this disease. So, what about countries like Indonesia, Philippines, Bangladesh? Uh, you, you see what's happening in Iran. And actually even Italy because Italy have a very bad uh, health system very very bad you know uh, you know Italy is not the same as before Italy today is like a Middle Eastern country you know it used to be something in the in, in the past uh, but Italy today is the same as a Middle Eastern country uh, very bad system very uh, and look at the you know very shameful the European Union they lost they they, they did not send help they did not send doctors. They did not send medicine to Italy. They are just they they just locked their borders with Italy. The one who is sending help right now, as we speak, is it China and Russia? You believe it? And yet they claim that they have European Union. Very shameful behavior. So you, you know this is why I say that in the time of Corona, this Corona taught us a lot of things. Like uh, the first, if you are European, you should learn from Corona that the European Union is not exist yet. Because if this is exist, then all of Europe should be treating each other as one country, which means the support, the help, the machines, the medicine should be available for everybody. Not you lock your borders and you don't send medicine to the country who need it most, like Italy. That's very shameful behavior, disgusting actually. Right? Very disgusting. No, you should not go to the church in this time. Why do you want to go to the church at this time? You see, Jesus said, uh, the one who want to pray, he can pray in his closet. Correct? So this is not smart. And why you want to, you know, what, what, what is the point of this? Uh, you want to prove that you are a Christian? No, this is not this. This is, will not prove you are a Christian. That will prove that you are a fool. Right? Because first of all, when you go, let us say you don't care about getting sick, but then you will go home. You will make your children sick. I mean, where, where is the? Where is the, the? What kind of a hero you are? Christian, he should not do things. He uh, things will harm others. He should not be selfish. So if you don't care for death, but you should not bring death to 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 others, that is not a Christ teaching. Right? 
And if you want to pray, you can pray. They used to say, go to your closet and pray. As simple as that. <clears throat> you can pray in your basement. You can pray in your bedroom. You can pray standing. You can pray even sleeping. You can pray when you are eating, you know. And you do not need to pray, you know. Jesus said, don't be the same, uh, you know, as those who repeat their prayer, blah, 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 blah you know, like Muslims. Don't do that. Don't don't repeat your prayer. That is not from God, and not for God. God, he do not need repeaters. He he knew what he want. He knew even your heart before even you say it. So make your prayer simple, faithful, truthful. Few words is more than better than a million words. <clears throat> Mask whenever you go. Well, you know uh, where I am right now is not like a very busy, crowded place. And uh, thank God, because I don't look good, so I'm not worried about anyone asking me for a hug. Okay, this is the benefit of being <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> nobody, nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody will hug me. That's it. This is the benefit, you see. So in the time of Corona, this is the benefit of being look like very handsome like me. Nobody, nobody, no, nobody. Nobody wanna give, can, give give me a hug. Nobody would do that. That's it. Come on, this guy is scary. Looks scary. Hello. I go to the store. Everybody get out. I go in the elevator. Everybody get out. I I go in the airplane. Even the captain, he leave. He take the parachute. He jump. True story, by the way. Sahir Bukhari, brother. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, thank God, I'm very. You know, I'm, my health is good. Uh, but but you cannot just say okay I'm healthy and that's mean I can fight this virus. You don't you never know. Virus can can take you down. And if uh, if uh, if somebody die because of a virus, it doesn't mean he is bad or he is good or you know this is a it's a virus. Come to the bad, to come to the good. You know, disciple of Jesus, they've been killed. Christians died by millions. Is that supposed to will make me look better? My friend, what Tom Cruise? <laughs> oh boy, I prefer to take a cruise full of Corona, not to look like Tom Cruise. What are you talking about, me? Why you want to be like Tom Cruise? By the way, you know, when you are a person who is attached to a famous star, you will see him handsome, but doesn't mean that he is really handsome, because you know the the look is uh, is not really what is driving you as much it is this guy is famous, so they make him a star in your eyes. They make him look so handsome. If you look at those, most of those people who people hang their pictures, they didn't even look good at all. Can I talk right now? My father is around. I cannot talk. Can you answer the above? Okay. <clears throat> you told in YouTube before that you drink something. You are bad a Christian, some like bad Muslims who don't. We don't kill anybody and we love everyone. Well, I don't know what, what I don't understand what this guy is saying. A Muslim saying, why you drink if you are a good Christian? Hmm. Uh, Muhammad, uh, the one who's asking me. First of all, who said to you I drink? Secondly, a drinking doesn't make you bad. It's what you do. As an example, if somebody drink beer, but he never raped children like your prophet, so who is better? And who said to you that Muhammad did not drink? Muhammad used to drink three days, four days a week. Actually, he used to teach Muslims how to make uh, 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 alcohol. To the point, even he prays alcohol in the Quran. 
and he claimed that alcohol is a sign from Allah it's a miracle and it's a good money blessed money so a Muslim he think because he is not drinking now that's what make him a good guy so oh, here we go go and walk in the Middle East supposedly they don't drink if you are a female they will rip you apart if you go in the bus every scumbag will touch you but you don't drink brother so those Muslims they think oh we don't drink we don't eat pork supposedly that make them better my friend go and look around you are you blind and this is your Quran praising alcohol saying it is a sign from Allah and it's a goodly provision so if alcohol is bad and ugly what kind of God praising alcohol is that a verse I made or it's in the Quran he's saying he cannot talk right now then he said the question why prophet david and solomon they killed people you idiot the quran and your muhammad he said that david even he killed a man to take his wife so why allah make him a prophet what's wrong with you and david in the bible he was a person who commits sin and he asked God for forgiveness. If you read the book of Psalm, you will find that David is all the all the songs supposedly he is asking for forgiveness. He's repenting. So who said that we say that David is was a wonderful man? We don't say that. David was a killer, David was a womanizer, David was a bad man, David was a, a, a harmful person. I mean, everything bad in the world, you can put it in David. And the Bible mentioned that. The difference is that you Muslim, you claim that Muhammad, he is a great man. But yet he did not repent for all the sin he did. He claimed that Allah told him to do that. So David, when he was a bad person, he did not claim that God told him to go and kill a man so he can take his wife. This was his crime. You Muslims, you claim that the crimes of Muhammad are not crimes, are good deeds. This is the difference. There's a huge difference between me committing sin and asking God for forgiveness and confess, confessing my sin or claiming that my sin is good deed. So the difference between David and Muhammad, Muhammad he commit way more ugly crimes, but yet Muhammad he never confessed his sin, he never said that I am a very bad person and to God I ask forgiveness. And you are saying to me, your dad is next to you, so what does that mean? Aren't you a man? What will happen? So what, so what if your dad is next to you? I mean, look at those questions he gave me. They are funny, stupid. L look at this question. Okay, if I want to read the Bible, which Bible I should read? I will purchase today uh, and read. I will uh, revert back uh, to you in one week time. Okay, my friend, what the Bible you need to buy and read? What, which Bible? There's nothing is called which Bible. Those are translation. We have only one Bible. So you have a wrong understanding of Christianity. So when we say translation of King James, this is a translation. This is not 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 King James. He made a book. This is a translation. Like you you say Yusuf Ali and etc. So which Bible? Anyone in your language? I don't know. Be smart, be smart, be vigilant. I'm not trying to put you down, my friend. I'm trying to speak to you as an adult. Be an adult.
If you speak English very well, you will go the Bible in front of you. Do you remember, guys, the, the gentleman, the doctor, what his name? I forgot his name. The one who he, he argued with me for two hours, and then I hang up on him. What was his name? Doctor what? I forgot just this is just uh, 10 days ago 15 days ago <clears throat> he sent me a message saying god bless you for showing me all those things which mean he agreed with me and maybe he left us now hamoudi dr hamoudi dr hamoudi yeah yeah he sent me a message saying god bless you for showing me all those things which mean he agreed But he made me upset. I spent two hours with him and he was playing all kinds of games. He didn't want to listen. But it's obvious he's, he's trying to play games. But then look like he, he went by himself and he checked it out. I mean, OK, he could not resist that this is true. So he sent me a message saying, God bless you for showing me, which means he saw the truth and he is out of Islam. And I did not get a chance, actually. To, to text him after he sent me that let me search for his name Dr. Hamoudi okay let me send him a text message <clears throat> yeah, I just send him a text message. Okay, uh, uh, I'm going to stop this broadcast. And maybe tomorrow I will make a video about a debate happening between Brother David Wood and a guy who supposed a Christian, his name, I think, Samuel Nissan, something like this. Maybe I should not talk about this person as a person. I don't care for him much. But I care that there are some Christians, they claim to be Christian, but they are deceiving people. Claiming that we, as a Christian, we should not attack Islam. And you know, always when somebody he come with such a such a, a claim, ask him how many. Okay, so those like a Christian prince or whatever David Wood, they are wrong. They are wrong in the way they do things. They attack Islam. How many Muslims was able to accept the Christ because of the way you do things? If he said zero, obviously he is not truthful. Correct, guys? That means he's being foolish. Because imagine you are teaching me how to do fishing, but you never get a fish. Right? So you are giving me a speeches about how to fish, but you yourself, you never get one. And that is called foolishness. Those people we should not listen to, they are speaking foolishness and they are not being Christians. They are trying to stop you, actually. They are used by the devil to stop you from doing the work which we should do as a Christian. I remember once a bishop, he's a very old man. I respect him, actually. He's a good man. But he said to me, you know, he's, he's speaking like wisely, supposedly. And he said, so what do you get from this? I mean, people threat you, they want to kill you, etc. So I said, okay, I will ask you a question, Bishop. How many Muslims accepted the Christ until now in your age? He said, no. He said, ask me the same question. <laughs> That's all. I do not need to debate you. I said to him, ask me the same question. And you are saying to me, what is the benefit? 
What is the benefit, Christian Prince, of what you are doing? Well, ask me the question. The benefit is so clear. A lot of Muslims left Islam. What do you want more? It's like a person when I teach you how to swim, but he never jumped in the water before. And Jesus, he mocked, he mocked the liars. He exposed them. He called them, you are sons of snakes. He said to them, if you are, he, he was even speaking to the Jews, the real Jews who believe in the true God, not fake pagan people following Blackstone. Even they are real Jews, yet he said to them, sons of snakes, sons of vipers. If you are the sons of Abraham, you do the work of your father, Abraham. Right? So don't make those people fool you. We have enough foolishness. Islam is exist actually because the Christians are not taking a stand to expose this cult. So a Muslim, he come to your child and your child did not know anything about Islam. Your fam his family did not teach him. The church did not teach him. The priest did not teach him. So he go and he face a Muslim and the Muslim, they start hitting him with the questions and your child will be a victim of deception because he never been taught because we should not mock Islam we should not say to a Muslim you are wrong he said, he said in the video actually we should you know if I teach a Muslim that 2 plus 2 uh, 2 plus 4 is uh, uh, 6 is not by saying it's not 7 not 8 not 10 by saying it is 6 that's a stupid because first of all this is not about mathematics and your example is very silly Secondly, if you don't show him what is wrong, then how will he know what is not wrong? So what do you mean we don't say to him seven, it's not seven, it's not eight? So if a person, he believes it's eight, so we say to him it's not eight? We don't say to him that? <laughs> anyway, uh, maybe tomorrow I will try to make a video about him. Uh, so we can you know get those people busted and don't listen to them never listen to those people they come to you they are like sheep soft kind but they are like snake I'm not saying this person is a snake maybe the maybe the devil is using him without knowing but this is a snake teaching this is this is not from God we knew what Jesus said Jesus said from their fruits you shall know them Jesus said, rebuke. Jesus said, share the truth. Jesus said, saying, don't say, don't swear. Either you say, yea, yea, or nay, nay. Jesus said, whoever deny the Father and the Son, he is an Antichrist. As simple as that. So, if the person, he says, you are a son of a viber, that is not a Christian. That means we are Christ Himself is not a Christ, because He is the one who said that. So those evil ones, they quote a verse for you from the Bible, and they make it from the verse a story. It's a book. It's not a verse. You want to learn about Jesus? You read His words, not a verse only. Otherwise, this verse will be misquoted, misused by a liar. Like the Muslims, they take my videos and they cut it and they edit it and they put things and they make it sound like something I did not say. This is what you are doing. They take a verse from the Bible, say, see what the verse is saying? <clears throat> anyway, uh, I think we have enough for today. Uh, I will change the timing for... Uh, uh, the the uh, quality of life. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to go now. After those hours, we are here. Too many hours already. Uh, so uh, 
I will change the date to tomorrow, but not sure what time I should do it. Hmm, what time tomorrow I will do it? Okay, I will do it maybe. Oh, I, I, okay, I forgot to tell you something. There's a new song I just uh, wrote right now, and I would like to share it with you. Nobody know it, you know? <laughs> nobody know it. Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody, da -da -da, nobody. This is a new song, by the way. This is a brand new, just, uh, just now. It's, just, uh, it's not like in the market yet. It's unbelievable. Very, very, very new song. Uh, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. What time? Which country? Hello. Do you think we are? We have one time, my friend. What 9 p.m.? You have to tell me 9 p. 9 p.m. According to what? You think is? Are you thinking like Muhammad now? 9 p.m. There's many 9 p.m. Brother. <laughs> okay. 9 p.m. Eastern time, Western time, Indonesia time. What 9 p.m.? 9 p.m. maybe you are saying like 9 a.m. in the morning in USA. Okay, let's see. We will make it morning time in USA is going to be uh, yeah. Okay, you check check the time in the video there, and you will find out what is the time for tomorrow. <clears throat> Arab time. If it's Arab time, that's me. Would never happen. You know, when when an Arab guy he says to you, "I will be there at six o'clock," that means maybe the, in the coming sixth century, six hundred years, six thousand years. You know, yeah. You call the electric company. You say to them, uh, 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 "We lost electricity." They say to you, "Inshallah, we will fix it." And then you wait. One day, two days, three days, four days, five days, seven days. You call them again. Brother, we have no electricity here. Brother, didn't we say to you, Inshallah, we'll fix it last time? Yeah, you told me that. Exactly. Inshallah. Allah did not insha yet. <laughs> we are waiting for Allah to send Jibreel and to say, do it. So we have to say, we have to wait for Allah permission, brother. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, inshallah, inshallah. This is this is why they are behind the cave time because everything is based on inshallah, and Allah never will. If Allah will, and Allah never will, Allah is asleep. He's just snoring. The only thing can wake up Allah is a song written by a famous sing singer. His name is <clears throat> Nobody. Nobody know. Oh, nobody know. Nobody know. Nobody. And then Allah, <laughs> Kusha Prince is singing again. I cannot sleep with this guy. I mean, what's wrong with this guy? He can't stop singing this song. I'm going to explode. Can you stop him? Please stop this guy. Do something. And then Allah, he will call the angel of death to come and take my soul. And the angel of death, he will come like, like a fly. He's <laughs> is is in my window now. <laughs> But he cannot get in because I ate garlic, brother. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, what kind of angel of death? He is he's a charge of death, but he cannot get in because I ate garlic. Mean. Look like Allah did not have angels he have uh, dracula by the way how many of you know the true story of dracula i went to the castle of dracula actually i, I took a video there too uh, dracula was not a bad person and all those fiction lies about him it's lies this is not true you know garlic and killing people sucking their blood the crazy stuff no dracula is a good man who fought the turkish occupation and he really sacrificed a lot to fight the occupation of the Turkish. And this is how the media can, can corrupt a, a real person story, fabricate a story about him. This person is not a bad person. Yeah. He is not a bad person. But a movie, 
make you believe in things which is absolutely false. So never take your stories from movies. Never. Yeah, the, the person was fighting the Turkish occupation and the Turkish, they hate him to death. You know? Uh, yeah, you need more Dracula to fight the evil ones. So you see? You see how, how, how media can corrupt stories and damage the reputation of a good man? A person who is a hero defending his country, defending the Christians, they made him a blood drinker, an evil man, blah, 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 blah. He have teeth coming. By the way, he have uh, the teeth in the movie. I, I don't know. I noticed I have teeth like this. I, I, actually, I have one tooth left, to be honest with you. And I, I, I have to admit, uh, after I start singing, my teeth is coming back. They are growing. Especially with the song like, nobody, nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody. Since I started singing this song, uh, my teeth is growing back. You know, so if you like uh, practice it, you will see that this is it's called the Prophet Muhammad medicine. This song, you know, you sing it, you are fine. Your teeth grow, your hair grow, even the hair can grow in the wrong location. So like. If you are a person hoping that your hair will grow on your head, it might grow on your tongue, which is very nice. I mean, who cares? That still will protect you from Corona, you know? <clears throat> uh, anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. And uh, we will try to be here tomorrow, but in the Quality of Life account. And if you did not subscribe there yet, please uh, you can go to Patreon, click at the videos, and you can find the channel. And by the way, those who they are in Patreon, uh, some people think that people who they are uh, um, in Patreon, they are donating. I mean, everybody there is donating to me. No, you can be in Patreon and you do not donate a penny to me. All right? Uh, it's just like Facebook. So all this number, not all of them, they donate very actually i don't know how many exactly but there is a huge number of those who they are there they are not donating so when we say uh, subscribe in uh, patreon does not mean you are going to donate still you can be updated etc and uh, uh, you know uh, most of people actually they cannot they cannot even donate even if the one they like there's some people they, they don't have a credit card there's people so patreon you see, I don't, I don't do my work for people who donate. I do my work for all of you. You are poor, you are rich, you have money, you don't have money. I don't care. I don't care, really. You know, the one who donate, I appreciate them. They support what I do. And that is very blessed, you know, a great blessing from the Lord uh, using those good people. But those good people, they themselves, they want me to do my work for everybody. So they do their part. But don't ever think that my work is done for those who donate. My work is done for everybody, starting with the poor before the rich. All right? So this is why we say download my videos. And if I can give even my books for free, I give them for free, you know. I am, I, I, I will never like treat people differently because of donation. That will never happen. And if I have donation or not, still I will do what I do. You donate, you don't donate, I will do what I do. You help me, you don't help me, it doesn't matter. This is not a choice for me. It's a mission. It's a must. So, uh, because I receive sometimes uh, messages saying, Christian Prince, I don't have uh, money to support you. Uh, how, how I can watch my video videos? I said, my friend, you can watch my videos anyway. Who said you have to support me? Who said that to you? Like if, if It's like you have to log in to, to see the video, but it's not really only for those who donate to me. I don't have the, I never activated that option. Anyone can see my videos. Subscribe here, you don't need to go to Patreon. So never thought, think about it this way. 
you know we are not here to uh, to uh, the support we I receive it's it's very important for me to get support because all of us we have needs and that is not a secret but you know not not because of that we do what we do and those who support us they will not themselves accept to be treated differently otherwise otherwise they are the one who will need a special treatment because he donate obviously his hypocrite right and if you uh, if you know someone is poor in your area and you are a poor person you better help the one who is in your town need your help the Lord always will provide my friend like now we have this corona madness there is people they have no job there is people they there, there is old people they cannot go in the store they are afraid to get out because they, this disease can target easy the, the old ones. So we have a duty as a Christians. We have a duty, very important duty. And actually, right now, because of this corona, can be a great opportunity for us to reach out to people who need help. To be a real Christians. If you have extra money, you can buy some food for somebody, buy food for somebody. If you know an old woman, old man, they have no family, nobody to take care of them, take care of them. And you will receive an amazing blessing from the Lord. And you are not doing it, by the way, because you are waiting the Lord, He will, he will, he will give you a, a reward, no. But He will anyway. For he said, I was hungry and you feeded me. I was a prisoner and you visited me. I was sick and you came to me. I was, I was a stranger, you took me in. All those things you do it to anyone, you are doing it to Christ. So when we help each other, doesn't mean that we help a person because we are waiting for an exchange. He will do something for me. That is not a Christian fellowship a christian he help no matter what is the respond i help muslims some of them they pray for my death some of them they wish they can kill me but i still love them and i will help them and many of them they leave islam and they come to christ i'm not expecting from them anything positive but still i do my duty so if we help Muslims, what about helping Christians, poor Christians in your area, people who have no family, an old woman she cannot get out, an old man he have no nobody to take care of him. Imagine that one day you yourself you get old and you have nobody. What do you think if nobody comes to your door? In a time where nobody dare to go in the school and in, in the street, think about it. It's you. Because trust me, what you do today is going to come back to you tomorrow. So, you know, helping helping others is a Christian-like, Christ-like, and will give you a rejoice, a happiness in the time of sadness. And you know, you can even help people not only by supporting them by food, etc. Sometimes maybe they have money, but they don't have anyone to talk to. They don't have anybody to do shopping for them. So if you know a neighbor, she is old, he is old, knock at their door, how can I help you? There is something I can I do for you. You know, you will see how much happy you will make them, you know, because they will see that they will feel that God is still there. You know, God, the people of God is there. A stranger coming to my door asking me, do you need anything? This is something very beautiful we should maintain. The teaching of Christ should, should never die. It should live with us, within us, by our action. And this is why the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. So let your fruits speak for you. 
not just your words. Words is talk is cheap. Action is the proof of the words. Always, always, there is something in your heart will make you rejoice. Try it if you don't believe me. Try to help an old person, especially old people. You will feel an amazing feeling inside your heart. It's very hard to explain because nobody can explain feeling. You have to live it. Help somebody poor, somebody old, and you will see how you will feel. You will, you will really have a very wonderful experience. And I say that the Lord is going to bless you for sure. So if you are a person even donating for me, but yet you know that there is somebody old next to the door to you, close to you, please take the donation you want to give it to me and give it to that man. He deserves it more than me. Those people, they need a special care from us. They are us one day. It is you and me one day when we are old. See yourself there. <clears throat> Well, uh, Christian, you know, okay, you have to be uh, like, you can help, but not directly by you, maybe, because you are a stranger, and maybe that will make uh, you being targeted because you are a foreigner, but you can go to a church minister or somebody you know, and you can help through them. Not necessarily you do it directly, right? <clears throat> not necessarily you do it directly. There is many ways to help. Like if you are a stranger and then you show that you have money, maybe some criminals, they will target you because you're a foreigner. So you have to be careful in this case. But there is Christian churches, there is ministry, they do help poor, etc. Go and see how you can help. You know, Maybe you can do even volunteer help with the churches. There is many, many amazing Christian. They go... And they teach in faraway villages and uh, uh, you know I mean there is many ways you can do <clears throat> help always can come in many ways always you have to be vigilant smart and don't cause harm to you or to those who you are helping so every place every situation is different so you, it's you who make the decision how it's going to be you know it's not just go and just jump and help you cannot do that and as you say people sometimes they get scared from you like who are you right so you have to make it in a smart way where you will not make those people fear you because it is not normal for a person to say i want to help right all right linda uh, we are Indonesian, have many brothers and sisters, but put subtitle in your video. Well, I don't know. I mean, I think I, I have it an option that a subtitle should be activated automatically, but look like it's not working. But what you can do, you can download the video to your channel and activate the subtitle will be added there. The automatic one. All right, my friend from Pakistan, he's saying his sister, she has symptoms of coronavirus. You see, in our heart, we pray for everybody, sick or not. But don't make this virus terrify you. Be a believer. You see, I don't like to get sick, for sure. Nobody like to get sick. Nobody like to be... Uh, torture by a disease and etc it's ugly but don't 
make the fear of illness kill you before the before the illness itself because the problem is when we go in fear mode then our immune system is weak you see when you 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 are like you know you remember muhammad he says i was victorious by terror he said i was victorious by terror that is the this is the coronavirus Muhammad himself terror can make you subdued to death you are terrified already your body cannot resist because you are scared you are terrified it's like you are saying to your body I'm, I'm, I'm dying I'm dead that's it so don't let that happen to you so if your sister she have that encourage her tell her even if you have it you will overcome this don't let the terror destroy you my friend it's very important to have a spirit of a victory not a spirit of a defeat if you have a spirit of a defeat before the battle you are defeated already Do you understand me? You cannot fight anything if you are already terrified. A hero, he cannot be a hero if he is scared. Because the one who wants to save himself is terrified. How he can save me? His knee is trembling. He cannot even walk. So you have to be strong. And you have to encourage yourself, prepare yourself to any situation because this is, can happen to any of us. So if you get this virus, don't die before the virus kill you. Because if you go in this way, you are going to die. You will not survive it. You have to be strong, you have to be smart. This is why the, the, the Lord, he said, believe in a stone, stone, you will be healed. Faith is very powerful. Faith is extremely important. Even actually, according to science, they say that those who have faith, they survive way more than those who don't. Because there's one of them, his body give up. He have no faith in anything. Look like he want to die. And there's one, he have a lot of faith and he is surviving, he's fighting. Maybe we should make a special video about this. Uh, and this is, by the way, for everything, not only about uh, viruses and corona failure start from you believe that you are going to fail this is when you are this is when you do fail the second you feel that or you 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 convince yourself that you are going to face a failure this is the time before the failure happen you are you fail already so you have to be careful stay strong even if this ugly virus came to your life god forbid don't be terrified and don't be scared your faith will help you to overcome a very harsh time uh, you know me myself i went through a lot of ugly stuff in my life a lot of ugly stuff i should be dead long time ago way long time ago those who run away from death, they are dead. And the one who never run from it is not. Always your fear chase you. Your fear is your enemy. Number one enemy is your fear. You know, there is people, they cannot walk in the dark. Right? But the dark is not different from the daytime except you don't see 
So because you have fear, you are a new person. You are a different person. You are not that the person we know in the in the in the daytime. Fear, my friend, can change you. Can humiliate you. Can make the big man small tiny rat. Don't let that happen to you. I remember there was a lady. She was our neighbor. She go and throw her garbage in the street at dark at night. She, the lady, the woman, she is doing it. So I asked her why you why why you are throwing the garbage? Where is your husband? She said he is afraid to get out at night. <laughs> what a man! I feel sorry for her. The potato is scared to get out at night. The woman she get out to throw the garbage. So the man is not a man no more. Just because of fear. This is what fear can do. And this is why Muhammad said, uh, I was victorious by terror. People, they knew that the terrorist Muhammad is coming because they have fear. They, they, they surrender. They don't even fight him. Right? <clears throat> anyway, uh, I want to say thank you and please pray for our, our brother there who have his sister. She has symptoms. Pray for everybody. Poor people are dying, rich people are dying, and this is the time where everybody is equal. But here you notice, by the way, that when you are rich, when you are rich, they treat you differently. Even in Italy, I saw I saw in the news that those who they are rich, they are getting a treatment which the poor one they do not have. Imagine, imagine, in Italy, like a famous. Uh, uh, a football player and his girlfriend they get sick right away they treat them they give them all what they need they give them the machine whatever they, you know treatment but those who they are poor they are taking the machine from from their from their breathing so they will die which means they are killing them because there's no enough machines so the one who have money they give him the machine to breathe the one who don't have money they let him die and this is happening everywhere The world is very evil. Very evil. Thank you guys for being here. And I will see you maybe tomorrow. God is willing. Christ is Lord. And Islam is getting busted. And don't forget to download the videos before we take them down. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.